So since our major chord of D was down at the end, let's just step along a bit and make an E. Because if this is D, if I go forward one, two, I get D sharp, E. So I'm on an E on the B string at the uh, fifth fret. And all I need to do is find that fifth and that minor third to make myself the second chord. I'm taking exactly the same notes and just making a triad or a three note chord. So here is an E minor. I've got B string fifth fret. That's my E. I've got the third fret E string. That is my minor third. And then I've got the fourth fret G. And that is the fifth. So, so far our chord scale goes D major. Step up two frets and I get E minor. Here's a close up of that E minor for you. Now you may have just notice that it's exactly the same shape as a D minor chord down the end. And in fact, I've chosen this in such a way that we're only really going to use two shapes all the way through the entire chord scale. We're going to use the D major shape you're familiar with and the D minor shape you're familiar with. For example, if you take this D major and shift it forward, you get D sharp major. Keep going up, you go through the alphabet. So this is D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G major, G sharp major. Same thing with the minor chord. That's D minor, D sharp minor, E minor, etc. Um, that's a useful thing to use and to know. So we've got two, two chords from the scale. Let's do our third chord. So same scale. Start on the third note this time. And from here, we're going to take the third note and the fifth note. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So the third note, again, is a sad three. <laughs> and the fifth note, again, sounds like Star Wars. So all I've done is I've gone up two, well, I've gone up a step in the scale, and uh, I'm on F sharp here. So let's find an F sharp and make a minor triad. Simple as that. So, so far you've got D major, E minor, F sharp minor. Now, let's not bother doing the rest of the chords or making them because I can think, I think that you know how it's done now. You simply start on a step of the scale and from that step go to the third note and go to the fifth note, pull them out, make a chord. You get seven chords, that's your chord scale. And here is the chord scale close up for you using triads and this is in D as we've been doing. So let's start with chord one, this is the D major chord of the D major chord scale. Go along a tone and make a minor shape. Go along a tone, make a minor shape. The fourth chord is along a semitone and it's a major chord. The fifth chord is along a tone and is a major chord. The sixth chord is along a tone and is minor. Now the seventh chord is a bit of an odd one. You go along a tone, put your first finger flat, but keep your third finger on the B string at the uh, 14th fret. This is a diminished chord. We also call that minor seven flat five. And if you go along a semitone, you're back at D major up an entire octave. So here's the chord scale a bit faster. So we've made a chord scale, why is that such a big deal, how do we use it, what's it all about? Basically, each of those chords, because they came from the same scale, they all fit together perfectly. And what I mean by that is, you can take any of those chords and play any other of them next to it and it'll sound right. So let's just take a look at that, if you've got a D major, and we've got an E minor, Let's make a tune. Let's just go E minor, D major. A 
kind of works. It fits, doesn't it? Uh, let's take a look at another one. We've got E, uh, sorry, D, E, F sharp minor. Here's an F sharp minor. Let's use that. Let's go D, F sharp minor, E minor. It all fits. In fact, they'll all fit. Every single one of them. The minor 7 flat 5 or diminished chord may sound slightly out there because it is an out there chord, but they'll all marry together. This is how you write music. You take a chord scale, you pick a bunch of chords from that chord scale, fit them together, and you get a tune. It's as simple as that. And when people talk about chord progressions, and they number them 1, 3, 5, or it's a 2, 4, 7 in A, what they're talking about is the chords from this chord scale. We number them. D major will be 1, E minor will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, for example, if I was to do a 1, 4, 5 in D, I'd just take the first chord, miss out 2, miss out 3, and go to 4. And here's our 5. And back to 1. So. Now, you don't have to play those chords in a line like I'm doing with my triads. You could just play them down the end if you want, or even as bar chords, wherever you'd like to play them. So, our fourth chord... That's a G. And our fifth chord... That's an A. So what you could do is go... And you'd have a 1, 4, 5 progression in D. Remember those minor chords? Let's write a quick tune using those major chords and then we're going to take it evil and go minor on its ass. Check this out. So that's why chord scales are great. It's the beginning of writing music, um, and it's there are many other bits of theory that are going to attach to this, and it's really your home as far as theory is in terms of learning and beginning and everything. So my advice to you is learn the triad chord scale up and down the neck so you can play it with, with your D shapes, and then um, once you can do that backwards and forwards, sideways and upside down, start looking at which ones fit together nicely because some of them sound nicer together than others. For example, 145 is a tried and tested, sounds great type of progression, but uh, 173 may sound slightly odd. So you get. There's something wrong about it. <laughs> it's, um, some chords just work better than others. They all work, but some work better. So it's a process of discovery for you. Uh, and that is the chord scale.